everyone. I'm Amy with book 2 Amy, and today I'm doing the How I Read tag. So this is a couple questions that are asked about how, how I read. So the first question is, how do you find out about new books? And what I usually do is I have a couple book tours that I watch and I see what they read. Or I'll go to Amazon and I'll be, for example, I really like Thea Harrison's Dragonbound. However, I didn't, I still need to catch up on that book. It's in my to be read jar over there. But I I really enjoyed that book, so I'll go to the Amazon.com and I'll go to see what other customers bought and enjoyed. Usually the first couple of two scrolls are the rest of the books in the series, but after that, new books come in and usually they're really uh, very, very similar or people enjoy them, so I usually go to Amazon to find what I like. Question two is, how did you get into reading? I have a very weird story of how I got into reading. I am actually dyslexic and when I was little I was always told that I couldn't write. I mean my my spelling was atrocious. I gotten better, don't get me wrong, but it's just one of those things that it was a stereotype that hey you can't read because you're dyslexic. I don't know why I thought that was a stereotype. So it was one of those things, I'm more of a, a challenge personally, you, and like if you say you can't run a mile, I'm going to run a mile and a half. So I decided I'm going to read and I'm going to like it. Weirdly enough, I started after I started to learn to read really well, I actually started to enjoy it, which is why I continued to read which is why I started to like to read and it was just, I was really lucky that they said you know you can't read because now I'm enjoying reading and I'm on YouTube because I enjoy reading so much. Question number three, how has your taste in books changed? Now I don't remember what it was like reading before teen novels so I'm just going to start with teen novels. I was reading books like this, Vampire Academy, this was a really good book. I remember one girl in my class was reading it. I think she was on book like two or three, and she's like, "Hey, have you read this book?" Because I was always reading during, um, uh, during after lunch period. And after she said this was a really good book, and I was like, "Oh, okay." Well, I don't know why, but I had to beat her at reading all the books, <laughs> and I read them all, and they were really, really good, and I enjoyed them. So I started reading lots of books like this. And then I was like, you know what, I really like her series, so I'm going to go on to her other series, which is Succubus, uh, I don't remember, I think it's just a Succubus series or something like that. It's, I know the first one is Succubus Blues, and it's really pretty cover, really expensive book, but it's really, really good. That was my first romance novel. Uh, I don't know, I don't think it's actually classified as a romance novel, but I still classify this. Anyway. That was my first romance novel, and I was reading it, pretend this is the Succubus Blues, and I was like, oh look, oh, 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 that's different, weird, huh, it'll scan this. Anyway, and <laughs> I started reading more romancy kind of novels, uh, mainly teen novels, but while all that was going on, I was starting to read, please don't fall again, Drama Con. These are books, these are manga, manga, however you say it, I call them manga, because I think that's the way I was taught. But I think it's actually pronounced manga, but to each of them. Anyway, this is picture books, kind of. And they, uh, this one I think you read the correct way. Uh, but a lot of them you read backwards, in case you didn't know. Uh, and I really enjoyed these. I was really enjoying these. They were really fast, really cutesy. And I really, really enjoyed it. So I started reading a lot of these. And fun fact, I went to like three or four of the anime convention in Dallas with a couple of my best friends and we had a blast which made me love manga even more. I've actually stopped reading a whole lot of these because I've started picking up more romance novels now because I can get them on my Kindle. Fun fact, these books, the first one and the second one, these are this is three and four. I don't know where my first and second one went, but the three first and second are on Kindle and you can actually view them on Kindle. Fun fact. Okay, but yeah, I would read these, and then I went to Straight Up Romances and Paperback. I would go to Half Price Books and get paperbacks. I would start. I started off with after I read Rochelle Mead Succubus Blues. I started going off with regular in the romance out romances, and I really enjoyed them. This was this is uh, sorry How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire by Carolyn Sparks. This is kind of like a fluff romance. I would call it fluff romance. And it's not hardcore romance, almost on the erotica side. This is just a nice romance, very cute, very nice, very adorable. And so I loved, I think this is like one of the best books to start off when you're reading romances. And then I discovered, more on the erotic side, 
Larissa Ion's novels. Now, I'm really glad I actually didn't jump from uh, Vampire Academy to Larissa Ion's because this is almost borderline erotic romance and I'm really, I really love her. Don't get me wrong, she's amazing. I love, love, love her work. I actually finished one of her, her books I did a review on. If you click right, oops, sorry, wrong arm, right here, it will take you to that review. But I loved it, but it was just one of those things, if you go from reading teen to borderline erotic, you're gonna, it's a bit of difference. It's a bit of difference, but it's a fun thing though. The fourth question is, how often do you buy books? I usually buy books like during a major holiday or a break, for example, like Easter, not Easter, no, I take it back, I probably would buy some for Easter. Easter, uh, summer, I bought like, or I want to say 12, no, like 20 books, 19, 20 books over the summer, and that'll be my summer, I won't buy any more books on Kindle. And, <laughs> and I'll probably buy, I usually buy some at ba basically every um, major holiday, but I don't buy books any other time except for those times because I like spending a lot of, I like getting a lot of books at one time because I, I don't know, I, I just like it. So yeah, that's, I usually spend uh, about 50 bucks when I go shopping on Amazon during major holidays. Question number five. How did you find booktubing? I was on, I, I think actually what really happened was one of my friends introduced me to Jenna Marbles and she's really funny and I started getting on YouTube a whole lot more after I found Jenna Marbles and I found this whole other community. Then I started to look at book reviews on uh, YouTube and the first booktuber, I don't even know if she classifies herself as a booktuber but I'm going to call her a booktuber, was the book tart and she's a really really nice person she started she reads the books that I really enjoy there's not a whole lot of romance strictly romance booktubers but she reads a lot of romances I think the first one I saw was like one of the Christine Feehan's novels that she read and I read it and I was like oh my goodness this is amazing subscribe and I started watching all of her videos I was really excited whenever a new one would come out because she usually got really awesome books and I really really enjoyed them so that's how I kind of started to get into the booktube, and then I found other booktubers that reviewed more of a teen novel, and I was like, I can do this, this will be really cool. And so, the, yeah, that's how I got into booktubing. Question number six. What do you do when you find an, when you get to an ending that you don't like? I actually do a representation. Okay, this is, I really like this book, just so you know, it's the next one that I wasn't a big fan of, but I'll pretend like this is the third book in this series. What? What? No! That's me. <laughs> no, but really, I'll, I'll, what I'm usually doing is I'm reading on my Kindle and I'll go, I click on the next page and be like, the end, and I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> and I'll just say what for a string of what for about five minutes and then I'll get over it. Uh, and then I'll do a review of how I was like, what? What? But. <laughs> I'm such a dork, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'd usually be like, oh, that sucks. I'll go into the next book anyway. Maybe it'll be better and just hopes that it gets better. I'm such a positive person. Be like, oh, the next one will be better. And the seventh question, how often do you take a look at the end of a book? Um, not often. I usually read romances and usually 99.2% of the time, they usually end up really happy. I was going to read The Edge of Never, I think it's The Edge of Never, yeah, I think that was it. And I, I actually heard that it was a sad book, or sad-ish book, which is why I don't read a whole lot of John Green's book, because I don't like sad endings. But even if it's a great, fantastic book, I usually don't want to read it if it has a sad ending. Um, anyway, I, I was going to read The Edge of Never, and I was like, well, I don't want to read it if it's really sad, so I emailed one of my favorite booktubers, and she, I said, does this have a sad ending? Don't want to tell me if it's like what happens at the ending. I just want to know, do the two main characters die? If they don't, I'll read it and I'll really enjoy it. But other than that, I usually don't, I usually, <laughs> I usually don't read the ending because I like to guess what's going to happen at the end. But unless it's, I'm, I'm fearful of it being a sad ending, I usually won't ask other people what, if it's a sad ending, yes or no. But usually I don't ever take a look at the ending. So that's the How I Read tag. If you have not done this tag, consider yourself tagged. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you
do do this tag, make sure to comment that you got it from me, because you did. It's insert your name here, and you'll say you got tagged. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and as always, go find your inner reader. See ya!